This video is about using cover, nothing complicated, a bunch of simple stuff that you should be thinking about. When it comes down to it, cover is literally being able to put something in between you and the person you're shooting at in order to not get shot or to break their shots, to throw their shot off. Uh, you don't want to be doing things like changing weapons or reloading outside of cover like I'm doing here. You generally don't want to be out in the open if you have cover on your right and your left side like this guy does. You want to make sure you're either moving to it or behind it. You need to be able to instantly recognize when you need to get behind cover. Uh, in a game where everyone can die in less than you know one second to certain weapons, you need to be able to make this judgment call rather quickly. So be familiar with what weapons the enemy team is using, what weapons you're using, how good they are at killing you at a certain range. So for example here, I, was, I'm, I would have taken the time to scope in on this guy, except I realized almost immediately he was going to be doing damage. Here, I take the time to shoot this guy since he's not looking at me, but as soon as his teammate enters the picture and they're both looking at me, that's when you realize you, you're going to need to run. Um, I had already been taking cover slightly previously, but as I said, you need to be able to recognize when you're going to be taking too much damage and get out of there fast. The easiest way to use cover is to simply strafe behind it, like I'm doing here, versus fusion rifles. Strafing isn't really a big deal, like out in the open, but strafing behind cover is a break deal. It's a big deal. You're going to use it to break shots. So this guy, for example, breaks my shots with a strafe behind the wall. Here, I'm just going to strafe behind the wall since you know I'm not going to be able to win this gunfight with this guy. Corners are by far the easiest and most simple things to take cover behind. So when you're in a gunfight, you kind of want to make sure you have a corner on your right or your left side, and just continuously move there. So you see here, I went to my left since that was a corner, and as soon as I see, I see there's a guy coming from my left side, I'll go ahead and move back to that corner. But in general, you want to keep a corner on your right or left side, or something in between you or the other guy that you're fighting against. The simplest way to put it is to just make sure something is always going to be blocking your screen when you're in a gunfight. So here, this rock on the right, I can tell it's going to block my screen. And this is something I know I can hide behind when I get into a gunfight that I'm going to need to take cover relatively fast. So again, play the corners, play the terrain, play it smart. Always find something in the environment that you can just use to cover a portion of your screen, and that's cover. So for this one, I know there's a pillar on my right. It's kind of covering my screen, and I just know I can get behind it in case I need. You don't want to be attacking into an open area with no cover, like here. I'm wide open, I throw a grenade, I wasn't able to shoot this guy while he's shooting me. Here's another similar mistake, you know, I'm wide out in the open, I'm unprotected, I, I walk through this completely through this door and I can't get back through fast enough. A proper one would have looked like this, from the same angle, where I'm slightly still inside the door so I can throw the grenade safely and then back around the corner after I throw it. So to add on to covering your reloads and covering your weapon switches, you also want to cover your grenade throws to some extent. You don't want to be completely opened up like here while you're in the middle of your grenade animation because it's, it's harder to get behind cover, it's harder to shoot back at them. But in general, if they can't see you, you can't, and you can't see them, like for example this guy's behind cover, you know, I'm perfectly comfortable just staying here while he gets two revives. You know, he's blocking his own shots on me, I, I don't need to do anything special. So here I'm just gonna make the play so that I can't shoot him, that way I know he can't shoot me, and I'll make him come to the side that I want him to come to when I want him to. You need to have in mind at all times all the angles you can be shot from, so here I'm going to know I can be shot from the very very far left and the not so immediate far left. So I'll, I'll have my crosshairs ready for the far for the left right now as soon as I can. Like, I'm, I'm going to be ready to snap there, and then here, I, I'm low health, so I back up until I see something on my right that I can hide behind. I hid behind it, I'm going to watch this guy's orb. Um, usually people rush the orbs for revives. And here, this guy, he kind of goes behind cover behind the wall, but cover's not just, you know, left and right. It's, it's more left, right, and over. He moves left, right to try to find me, but he forgets about over. So back to what I was saying about covering your sides, you want to make sure at all times 
you can account for almost all the angles to be shot from. So here I'm getting shot from the right. I, but knowing the map, all I have to do is move forward to cover that right side. So that's what I do. And I know this guy, since he got me low, he's going to try to chase me around the corner. I can kind of bait him in. So again, full speed. Going to get shot from the right. Going to move forward to block the shots. And then I can kill this guy afterwards. So more on covering all your sides at the right times. There's two people on the radar here. I can see that, so I'm just going to move and adjust accordingly to get as far away from them as possible and use the corners to my advantage. Here I almost had two people on me, but I knew the guy on the right would be predicting I was moving away when in reality I can just double back on him. Make sure you're constantly evaluating which side you can be shot from and when and then adjust accordingly. So here for example, this guy on my right I know is currently my most immediate threat, so I'll take cover from him and switch back to this guy on the left who stopped shooting at me after I took cover the first time. As I touched on before, cover is not just you know left and right movement, it's also up and down, so here I'm going to jump over and then I know as I kind of fall down, I'll be falling behind cover. So cover is not just literally moving left and right, you can also use use it up and down. So here's another example with a cube. I know I can fall off the cover. I can fall off it to behind cover if I need it. As for strafing, as I said, you want to break shots, but you don't want to break, you don't want to move so fast that you don't actually break the shot. So here, Orchid didn't break my shot, and here, Blue Devils didn't break my shot. You want to use whatever terrain you possibly can to your advantage. So here, I'm I can, I know, I see in the corner of my eye, I can, I can actually duck behind this for a second to break this guy's shot, and I do. Going into this fight, I know to the right side I have something to break their shots while I throw a grenade, and I use that. Here I can see I have two people on me, so I'm going to try kill the first guy, and then I'm going to try to take cover for the second guy to cover my reload, and then I'll re-engage, but I'm still low. So I can see I can use this pillar right there to block my left, and then I'm going to block my right with the second pillar while, while I'm regening health, and then I'm going to push to finish the kill. And again, I'll reiterate, anything that you can use to break the shot or block the shot, like this little ledge right there, you're going to use it. So as I said before, you need to always keep something on your left or your right for cover and move behind there when you're in trouble. And most Destiny players will kind of chase you around the corner to try to get, get the kill, especially if you're weak. So all you have to do is stay on the corner or stay moving around the corner while they chase you. And also try to make the hole as small as possible. So here I'm making the hole to shoot me as small as possible. And they are forced to put their head there and I can finish the kill. So here again is another one. I'm going to make the hole as small as possible for me to get shot, and they're going to constantly move into the line of sight, the little hole that, I, that I've made for myself to try to shoot me. And it's easier for me to land the shots, harder for them to land the shots. So the following are pretty much just more examples of making the hole as small as possible so that they chase you. Uh, this is the same map. This map is really easy to do it on. Once you find a spot that it works on, you're going to keep using that spot. So here, I'm just going to stay in such a way that it's just one small crack. And you can see they, they both feed their faces into the hole that I'm already shooting into. So this guy, same here. He's trying to find me. I already know where he is, and I'm taking it bit by bit. You don't want to be trying to find people outside of cover. So here I'm trying to find this guy and I was outside of cover and I died. You want to already know where the person is before you pop out from behind cover. So here I figured out where that guy was, came back from out behind cover and then here you see, as I said, protect all your sides at all times. I'm going to use this pillar to protect the front of me even though I don't know if someone's there. I realized someone's actually there. I was already using cover. He couldn't see me. And you just move from you move from cover to cover, so as you're moving, constantly adjust where you can use for cover. So I see these places all on my left, now on my right. I could use this this part on my right for cover. 
uh, for this fight. Um, this fight didn't go as well as it could have, but this is just another example of how much cover you can use and how to constantly be evaluating getting behind it. So again, I'm just switching from cover to cover to avoid dying to blue devils until I see this guy that I assume I can kill and I just go for the kill and trade out. The best way to kind of learn is you need to be able to walk through maps backwards. You're basically walking through blind. So here I walked backwards until I could see I had something to hide behind, hide behind it, pull out a sniper rifle while I'm hiding. Again, I decided you don't really want a weapon switch if you're not behind cover and you can get those kills rather easily. So here on my left, I've already walked forward. I can kind of see if I need to come back to it. There it is. There's a guy that I need to come back to cover, so I, I kind of move back into the left until I bump into it. And eventually, it, it, I just kind of go around it. Like, I'm bumping into it the whole time, and then as soon as I'm behind it, I'm behind, I go around it. This one, there's something called cutting the pie, which is a way to take the corner or the way to take cover. Like, you're still covered the whole entire time, and you slowly, slowly take, take the corner, like you're cutting slice of a pie. You slowly cut piece by piece off until you see what you need to see and then you take the shot and finish off your kill. So here's another one. I'm gonna use the cover as I'm gonna use the corner as cover except I'm wide exposed to three people on their team. I pay for it. Here I'm just backing around the corner while I reload and throw a grenade. So my reload's covered, my grenade throw was covered, and they ran into my nade and died. So here's a similar example. I'm cutting off that second guy that's a threat while I cover my reload and I just keep going around the corner and it's easy to kill. Now another thing about cover is you can get a left side grenade throw. So here I'm freezing the frame. I've started my grenade throw. Uh, my right side's covered. All I have to move is a little bit and I'm behind cover. You can get you can generally get grenades around the left side of a corner without exposing your body. So here I'll try for another example. My whole body is covered and I'm still able to get a, a left side grenade through that door. So one last one, you can generally, if the right side of your body is covered, you can still get a perfect grenade throw off on the left hand side. One last tip I can give is you don't need to finish your gunfights where it started. So here I started on the left side of cover, I'm going to finish on the right side of cover. It's part of being unpredictable. If you're, predict if you're predictable, they can beat you easier. If you're not predictable, you can beat them easier.